Namaste everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm starting my morning with a very handsome guy here. Mm -hmm. Please introduce yourself. Julian. Where are you from? UK. When did you visit Nepal? Uh, two days ago. Oh, how long will you be here? Uh, a week. Okay, very nice. Well, thank you very much for visiting. Hope you will have a wonderful time here. So we are currently exploring Thabahi or Bikram Sila Bihar here. From this temple name, the name Tamil has been derived. We are real foodie and we are exploring. We are currently having egg bara. How is it? It's delicious. Have you heard something similar before? Uh, have I heard something similar before? Uh, no, not with this spice, not with these spices, okay. but it's really tasty, balanced. And you are already familiar with many Nepali food. How come? Yeah, I've done. A, I've seen done some cookery classes here in in yeah. Kathmandu. Yeah. And I've eaten in Nuari restaurants. Nice. It's your second or third time, right? Uh, Nepal. Fourth. Okay. And would you like to share about your charity work? Great work you do. Oh, I'm working with a charity called Pipal Pre, oh, and nice. uh, we're doing some work down in Madesh Province and also some urban nature projects here in Kathmandu. Very nice, I yes, feel sir. very blessed to meet you. Thank you. Finally, how is up your mate? Very sweet, but very nice. Glad to know. And unusual. It's really very interesting to meet someone who has been to Pokhara even before when I was born. Hello. How was your experience uh, in well, which year? It was 1982, I went yeah. to Pokhara. Um, I was with my, I was 18 and I was with my younger yeah. brother, 16, and we went to Pokhara because we'd been in India and it was, we arrived when Indira Gandhi was assassinated oh, and we had to yeah. leave India very quickly because yeah. it wasn't safe. So we went on the train to Patna yeah, and yeah. then on the bus to the border for eight hours and then yeah. another bus for eight hours from the border yeah. to Kathmandu yeah. and then another bus to Pokhara where we travelled on the roof of the bus the whole way. So probably you passed my hometown as well, which was Bidigas. Yeah, yeah, probably. I don't remember. Mm, yes. But, um, yes. So we spent some time in Pokhara and did some walking. And there was only one hotel. Mm. Uh, as far Bistel. as I can, I did stay in a hotel. We stayed in a lodge. Yeah. But uh, it was it was a good hotel. There was a fancy hotel on the lake. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> Please mind your head. <laughs> well, I feel like I am with a foreign guy here in Nepal. We are in a Tibetan Nepali restaurant and we are getting vegetarian tento. And he is also familiar with Sherpa stew. How yeah. come? Yeah, from the Kumbu. Oh, very like nice. It's a good winter dish. And it's also. Not also, I was explaining about our Himalayan paper and he already got some back home. Hope you like it. How is it by the way? Is it too spicy? No. It's okay. Legend. It's 13th August 2024 Tuesday and I feel very blessed to be with this very handsome guy. We are currently at Kathmandu's smallest restaurant and he is trying Pani Puri. He first had it without the spicy water. How is it? Unusual. <laughs> okay. Unusual. It's very nice. Have you heard this before? No. Okay. It's now, good though. please hold the puri. No, I won't eat all of this. Yeah. I'll eat. I'll eat. I'll take a bite. Okay. So now I fill it till the top. It will taste slightly different. And also, you can use the napkins. If you need the napkins here, all at once. <laughs> How do you prefer with the spicy water or without? Okay. It's samosa time now. Let me ask him. How is it? It's better than I expected. Okay, glad to know. It's very good. No, I'm not sure about the sweet sauce to go with it. That's a bit strange. Okay. But the samosa is very good. Finally, it's time for a momo. The wait is over and we are getting chicken momo here. I hope he will like it. You must have momo before, right? Okay. 
It's hot. Yeah. The temperature. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. I happened yesterday these are better. Yeah, yeah. I'm super thankful to him for spending peace of time with Mr. Nepali Cuisine. I wish him the happiest life wherever he's, he's traveled. Thank you. Thank you. Great tour. Whenever. We had takeaway chicken momo and sell roti. I just gave it to a homeless guy whom I saw while passing by. I asked him this time and he told he's from Tishuli. I asked him why he don't go to the human welfare center. He told me he stayed in many centers but they just removed him from the center. I don't know why. I was asking him whether I can call to another human welfare center and if he would like to go, but he denied. He doesn't want to go. Uh, he roams here. He asks a little money from the shop owners, and this is how he managed to survive. But uh, yeah, I see him. Probably he sleeps um, yeah on the street or below any kind of socks spread of life I see two other people like him inside Tamil I hope some people will help and take care of them well like a man behind me he also sleeps outside it's very very tough life I feel bad for such people well now I am returning back to my accommodation I feel very full. I will be doing my own work online. Yeah. I can find a group of three students. They are being trained by a trainer for KMC Police, Kathmandu Metropolitan City Police. Well, it was super interesting to spend time with my British friend and in the afternoon to evening i didn't do anything much i came to a restaurant here for some bread and also i'm getting a curry well i'm super thankful to him once again for visiting nepal and spending this time with me i'm also thankful to all of you for watching my videos Thank it's finally time to close my video see you in the next video bye bye Ta -ta.